Hey everyone, welcome back to part two. And this is my beautiful sister. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit more. So as you can see, um, she's got a little bit more of problematic skin. Not too crazy, but it's more like dried pimples. Um, and I wanna kind of show you guys how we can do a 10 minute look when you have skin like this. You know, I'm not saying her skin is bad, but people that do have a bit more problematic skin get a bit more, I guess, self-conscious and think they need to apply more when in all actuality, it's how you layer it and how you apply everything that makes you feel good or not. True? True. True. What would be, if you had to do a morning routine, what would it be? I'll probably just do concealer and um, probably like a bit of mascara or curl my lashes with that. Okay, so let's not take that advice because um, when you, and if you do put just concealer, you start to look a bit bland. That's why I usually like do her makeup for her because it's so much easier. Okay. Oh, say hi to Bella everyone. Unfortunately, if you watch my stories, Scarlett is no longer with us, but we do have a new baby and her name is Bella and she's about how old now? Um, I think... <laughs> Like, um, like two, two months? months? Two yeah, months? I think two months. So yeah, she's a little baby. I love her. We'll show you guys her at the end. You can We can officially introduce you. <laughs> okay, so I want to show you that my... Oh, baby! My timer is ready for 10 minutes. <laughs> That's Bella, by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and start it, and then we're going to get started on her makeup. Okay, so ready? and start. Okay, so today we're applying the La Roche 50 Plus UVA UVB Protected. If you watched my last video, I'll tag it up here. I highly recommend using this. Now, because it's my sister and I have clean hands, I'm gonna use my hands. Any noises you hear that aren't from me or Joe, <laughs> from Bella, she tends to make the cutest noises. And this is her first time in my beauty room, so I'm excited to see how she goes. She's just like tripping out, like, what is she doing? Oh. Okay, so now that that's firmly applied, I'm gonna go in with the um, Collagen Burst Eye Cream, and I'm gonna apply quite a lot of this because when you have dry under eyes, <laughs> you really wanna make sure you hydrate them. And also, when you hydrate your under eyes, you actually are cancelling out those wrinkles. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on eyes because I can teach you some of my secrets. Just dab that in. I'm gonna just leave that as is. Now we're gonna go in with the vanity glass. Lucky I'm standing up, it's a bit easier for me to do her <laughs> face rather than when I did it, I had things everywhere. Hopefully Bella doesn't try to eat this. I have a feeling she might try. So now we're battling two different scenarios. <laughs> so you always want to make sure your skin is hydrated, especially if you have any form of pimples, acne, or scarring. I would do her neck, but Bella's there, so I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She knows we're talking about her. Alrighty, so for, I'm gonna actually start with her eyebrows. Now for her eyebrows, she has pretty good eyebrows, so I'm just gonna brush them up. I just put a little bit of spray in them, some Fix Plus, and I'm just shaping them nicely. Yep, she's trying to eat everything. Now for concealer, I am using the Dior. You don't have to use this one. You can use um, the Maybelline. That's just as good, but um, I prefer for Joe's skin to use this. And I'm also mixing both 1.N5 and 3WO. So I'm mixing that on the back of my hand. And then I'm just taking a flat brush. You okay? Good. And then I'm just gonna apply a bit there, a bit there. Now, this is basically like her skin tone, so a bit lighter. So what I'm gonna do is with the darker shades, I'm just dotting them where her scarring and pimples are. Turn around for me. Not completely yet. So I'll just put a bit on her under eyes. 
I don't bring it all the way up a little bit just where her problematic areas are she's trying to bite the brush I just put a little bit on her chin a little bit on her nose face straight for me now with this I'm gonna let it set for a second now while I let that set I'm actually gonna be taking oh no I don't want to take this so while I let that set, I'm just taking a mascara um, that is kind of used up. I'll get you to look up for me and I'm just wriggling that at the top of her brow and her eyelash. And then look that way. So just where the root is, I'm not bringing it all the way up. I'm just like kind of stamping it. That just makes a slight difference in the eyes. So now I'm actually taking this Real Techniques um, Essential Foundation Brush. And with this, the reason I'm getting this is because I want to stamp rather than move. So as you can tell, I put the darker shades where um, her problematic areas are. And then I mixed both of the shades everywhere else. And I'm just very lightly kind of stamping rather than rubbing and moving look up for me so when i get to her under eyes i'm stamping and i'm bringing that as high as i can now the reason i did this is because less product under your eyes um less wrinkles and then i'm creating that v to give her eye kind of like eyeshadow her eyes aren't as um dark as mine lucky you <laughs> And then with her, the side of her face, I'm just literally stamping that in. Now, do you see how that looks so much more flawless? Just by stamping. So now we'll do it to the other side. So stamping. And the reason why I like to let that sit for a bit and do my, uh, my eyes is because it's sitting on the skin. It's settling. We're going to use like more longevity out of the concealer is which is what we want especially for something that's a bit more high-end so just very lightly stamping you don't want to be too rough with this and it blends itself out do you see how it just kind of blended that out look up for me you don't necessarily need to color correct I don't think it's that essential for like a 10 minute makeup look so now that that's on with this particular look, I am actually going to set it. Instead of using a cons uh, foundation, I mean the Laura Mercier, I'm using actually a powder foundation. And I'm using N20 and NC10, I believe. And I'm using the same brush and I'm just stamping the two. And then I'm going to be stamping where I put that on her cheeks. Now this is just going to emphasize more coverage. Being very light and gentle with this and then look up for me and now when I do that I'm taking a bit more of the lighter shade and I'm just applying that under her eyes I use my finger to blend anything out sorry don't forget to go around the nose because we tend to get quite oily there so again stamping Kind of lightly you don't want to rub I feel like when you rub you're actually pushing the product out of place and we don't want to do that again I'm good. And the reason why I like to use something lighter is so it can brighten the eyes a little bit more and just whatever's left on the forehead and the chin okay now I'm going in again with the beach babe and I love this shade like I said in my last video I just think it works well for a lot of skin tones so I'm just putting that on the back of my arm while I have you actually can I get you to apply a little bit of pawpaw on your lips please when it comes out there you go <laughs> 
Technical difficulties, guys. Technical difficulties. Now I'm taking this dense Real Techniques brush. I don't know if that's cheating, but technically it's the same thing. So I'll just give you turn to the side, and I'm just kind of applying that around and up, not really focusing it on where her pimples are. So on this side, she's got a bit more pimples around here. So I'm just gonna put it a bit higher up because we don't want to emphasize where her pimples are. And I'm bringing it back to your eyes. Just like that. Kind of just gives a very, look straight please. Bit on your nose, like I always say. Bit on the chin and a bit on the forehead. Now, the reason why I like bringing it around the eyes is it just gives like a very sexy, subtle look. Okay, now quickly I'm going to put this Mecca Max um, brown, it's like a brown waterline shade. Look up for me. And this is just, look that way. I just personally really like, other way, other way. Just kind of, it gives you a very nice eye look. Now with this, with her, I'm actually not going to line her lips. I think she's got quite nice lips. So I just want to keep them very hydrated. I'm going in with Fussy by Gloss Bomb. And I'm just applying that on top of the pawpaw. just gives a very oh, nice pink shade to the lips. You can do a liner if you want to. I just think it's not that necessary. Do you want a liner or no? Oh, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> She's just like, no, whatever. And then I'm just taking a brush to quickly blend everything out. This is no foundation, guys. If you really want to as well, seeing as we have like a little bit of time, I'm just taking this Marc Jacobs bronzer and I'll just get you to look up for me. And I'm just applying that right under her eyes. It kind of just opens up her eyes, especially because we put the brown liner And I like to bring it quite far down. I just think it looks quite nice. And then I'll just put a bit on her eye socket because she doesn't have discoloration. So we'll make it out like she does. <laughs> How are we going for time? Oh, we're like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm just gonna spray her face with the Slay All Day Setting Spray. Hope that, oh, that got better too. Sorry, baby. Alrighty, so I'm gonna stop that. So everyone, I'm gonna just zoom you guys in a bit more. This is your 10 minute makeup look. <laughs> Bella, what do you think, baby? Very simple, very hydrating. I feel like this is kind of perfect for summer and winter. It's good for summer because we made sure we powdered her to make sure she doesn't have any excess oils happening. And we also, um, I think it's good for summer, uh, winter, sorry, because it does give you a bit of a glow, but it's not too crazy, if that makes sense. So that's her beautiful side. Very nice, glowy, looking hydrated. You cannot even see any of her pimples. She's so beautiful. And this is like a look you can actually wear all day and do errands, go to the beach, do whatever you gotta do. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Do you want to show them Bella as well, just before we go? She's still a baby. So this is Bella, everyone. She's our little baby. Ah. Um, yeah, so she's only like two months. Her beak is still yellow. She's not fully grown. She can barely walk as well, so it's actually so cute. But that's our baby girl. You'll be definitely seeing her in more of our videos and photos. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button down below. And we will see you in our next video. Bye.